Hello Aquarius, thank you for joining us over here and supporting my website. We're going to clarify with two more decks before we go to the Love Oracles. And we've got the Page of Stones. So this is an offer coming in of stability. Uh, it may be a lesser offer than what you expected. But it's one that is carefully made. One that you will carefully think on. Yeah, your sacral chakra. It could be that you had to endure this waiting period. Some of you had to abstain from sex or you were separated from um, your loved one. Or some of you just felt left out in the cold and shut out. Um, you know, for you male Aquarius, it's maybe that your lover said, not tonight, honey. I got a headache. You're going to be moving forward, though. This love is going to take off because you endured. Oh, yeah, this person really loves you. And as far as recognition and rewards leaving the past behind so that you can graduate and go to the future this person is in your future it could be a water sign um, has great wisdom insight compassion and deep love the hearth fire triumph over all you know the conflict with those alliances and partnerships you're renewing that commitment to family friends letting them know look we can work through, through things, no matter what the issue is. So this love begins. There's a message coming in. And it's it, it looks more like a passionate message than a love message. But it's going to help open the way. And the life experience from your past. This gives me the feeling of a different type of passion. It's almost like that uh, discovery of like that shudder in the sacral chakra that says something really feels right about this. You're going through a transformation. You feel unjust. Why do I have to be quarantined? Why do I have to be in lockdown? Why can't I move forward on my path? This is holding everything up. This is so unfair. But it's also very important for you to go through this. It is part of your path, Aquarius in order for you to um, go through this transformation, to prepare you for, look, healing. You'll be healing the conflicts with friends, family, loved ones. Yeah, this disruption is allowing you to put down some heavy burdens that you've been carrying. Take advantage of this rest period. So maybe that boredom card was not discontent so much as it was now I can lay down my burden because I was discontented with the burdens that I carried. There is power in the decision. You have all kinds of options opening up for you through this transformation. And balance is clarifying balance and solitude. This period of your life in solitude, in quarantine, is extremely important. It's almost like the reset. Not just the world is in reset. You are. Here you are. Wisdom, logic, standing your ground, being assertive. You're courageous. Standing up for what you believe in. I love it. Rest. No, you're either resting in the arms of the one you love or your relationship or a new relationship. You've healed from the past or you're healing from the past and transforming into this beautiful butterfly that harmonizes. You may feel a little impulsive and want to jump. Maybe jump their bones. You feel the need to act quickly. You don't want this one to get away. But of course, you're in quarantine, aren't you? Dedication. Dedication to yourself, to your future, to taming that beast within. Yeah, you've endured it. If, if people are arguing with you, you're walking away. 
you're like, it's not even worth it. You'll enjoy this time um, of being alone, independent, self-sufficient, and in, this is self-improvement. Even for those of you who are coupled or are in a relationship or a new relationship, there is that appreciation of the time alone. This person knows you're going through a healing or you know this person is going through a healing and waiting it out patiently because you know that it's going to be a beautiful new chapter of your lives together. It's going to be a long-term commitment and it's going to be like an amalgamation of families that you're going to triumph over renew a renewal of self oh yeah something tells you is niggling at you like this person you want to make a love offer or they want to make a love offer because they feel passionate about you but you know baby steps they're they're coming to you like a page saying i don't know about you aquarius but i sure do have a lot of uh feelings about you Now, transforming through this discontent and the feeling of injustice of the past, you're walking away from that. That's all in the past. You want this new love. You're healing. If there are things standing in the way of this new love, you are about to overcome that, triumph over that. You're laying down the burdens of the past. Oh boy, are you ever. You are just throwing them all down. Look, I've been carrying double loads here. And it has held me back. And now it is time for me. I want my new beginning. And look at this. This is at the heart of your reading, Aquarius. You have the star, which is yours. Your card. Firm foundation. These opportunities that are coming in are gold. These are blessings from heaven. Building legacy. Money flow. And harvest, you're coming into a balance in solitude. And from this, from your own mind, it's going to come this beautiful epiphany that you know will take time. I want to do this. You know, I want to start my own business. I know it will take time and I need patience and I need to invest my time and money. But it's worth it. It's going to bring a balance in your life. And here you are with your wisdom standing for what you believe in. And the star coming into your power. Coming into your own power. This transformation could be new love. It looks like new love. is It's coming. Whoops, sorry. It's coming towards you very quickly. So you may feel very impulsive when you meet them and, and say, Oh my God, you're the, the person of my dreams. Where have you been all my life? Dedication to working on self and following your intuition. So let's finish this reading with advice from the Romance Angels. What's the advice for Aquarius regarding love? the advice for Aquarius regarding love. Let your friends help you and ask for and accept support from others. Maybe that's what this was all about. Your friends wanting to help you and you resisted it. Maybe they were trying to do some matchmaking. But you said, no, I still need to heal some more. But this love is coming in. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. There could be reconciliation here. So maybe your friends are helping you to reconcile with someone. Or someone from your past is returning and you become friends. You know what, Aquarius? To change everything I just said. If this is not a new love that says, oh my God, where you've been all my life and you're just spark when you meet. 
Maybe that's how you felt about this person. And that reconciliation is that renewal of that love. Some of you I know, you're um, single. And some of you I know are dealing with people that you've been involved with. So take it how it resonates for you. God bless you, Aquarius. Bye for now.